Hey, hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Big hit for that band from the year 2013. And we're going to do an acoustic version of the song. And like a lot of the songs we do here at Epic Guitar Instruction, we strip it down for one guitar. It's a pretty simple song. There's only five chords, and it's basically just two progressions that just keep repeating. Especially the one progression keeps repeating through the whole song. I've watched a lot of footage of them playing acoustic versions of it, and it sounds to me like they're tuned down a whole step. And I know there's versions out there of the song where you capo it up at the third fret, but I want to replicate the authenticity of that version that they do acoustically. So to get that sound, we got to tune our guitars down a whole step. It's very easy. So all you're going to do is you're going to take each string and tune it down one whole step. So low to high, you're going to have a D, G, C, F, A, D. And to keep things simple, I don't want to be confusing with the chord names because keep in mind, we're tuned down a whole step. So if I play a certain chord that looks like, let's say, like this song, the first song in the chord, it, the first chord in the song, it looks like I'm playing an F and I am voicing an F chord in standard tuning, but because we're tuned a whole step down, that's ringing out to the pitch of D sharp, right? So the, the song is actually in the key of D sharp. Um, but I'm going to give you the, 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 the voicings of the names of the chords like it was in standard tuning. So it's relative to standard tuning, just not to be confusing. And if you get a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel is really important. It helps us to keep bringing the content as well as you'll be notified then when we have new lessons up, new content. Leave a comment below. Uh, let us know what lessons you'd like to see, what gear you'd like to see reviewed, how you like this lesson. Share the video. If you like it, please click the uh, thumbs up button, give it a like, and thank you so much for your support. It's basically five chords you're going to need to play this song. I'll show you some variations too because live there's two guitars playing and they're playing the same chords, just they're playing them in different places. But basically, to get the vibe of the song, you need to be playing the bar chords because that's what's going to be carrying all the bottom, right? And the sound full as possible on one guitar. So play an F voicing, a D minor voicing, A minor, and a C voicing up here at the eighth fret. And also a C voicing down here at the third fret, A string root, and a G voicing. The other guitar player is playing the same chords, but he's playing them a lot of them in open position, like he'll play this F chord, little four finger F, and he'll play the D minor open like this, he'll play the A minor voicing here, C voicing here, and G voicing like this. The basic structure of the song is, is all you really need to know is there's two progressions, and one of them mainly used throughout the, the whole song, verse, chorus, pre-chorus. Um, and then there's one other progression when he does those toward the end of the song, the O, O, O's, or the woes, right? Um, so basically, that one main progression is you're going to go F, D minor, A minor, C, right? And that starts off all I am is a man, D minor, right? I want the world, A minor, in my hands, C. The rhythm pattern you could use through the whole thing is a strum pattern like this. We're going to do a down, 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 up, down, up. Right? If I keep repeating that. Down, 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 up, down. Let me play it for you. thing I'm doing with the strum pattern just so you know and again with with all the songs that I teach I just give you the bass patterns and obviously once you get those strum patterns down they'll work with the song they'll capture the feel but then you can embellish it you could change it up you could add chucking do your own thing with it right um, the one thing I'm doing to give it a little variation on the strum is I'm just hitting the low strings the two downstrokes to start with the first strum the first downstroke I'm just hitting the low E low E and the A doesn't have to be totally precise, but I'm just basically hitting the low, the bass strings, and then the whole 
chord. So it's like down, just those few, and then the whole thing. And then the down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, low string, down, down, up, down. And I do the same thing on each chord. See, on the D minor, voicing, low strings down, second down, full chord. Same thing on the A, right? Low strings, whole chord. It's just something that adds a little bit of variation and a little bit of interest. And when it gets to the part of the song where it's because it's too cold, he plays the same progression, but he just lets the chords ring. That F voicing, D minor, just hit him, let him ring. A minor, C. We're playing a lot of bar chords in this song to capture the vibe of the song of, of what the neighborhood does, right? So uh, I know that could be a very challenging aspect of the guitar, and if you're struggling with your bar chords and changing bar chords, I could really help you with that. I'll send you a free killer video lesson. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box. Killer lesson packed with essential bar chord techniques, because so much about bar chords is about that technique, about how you're fretting it and how you're moving to the chords and the techniques you're using. I'll go over all that in that video lesson as well as I'll give you tons of killer exercises to really get your bar chords blasted to the next level. Click on that link below. I'll send you the video lesson and my ebook also that has tons of chord charts, more exercises. It's a great one-two punch. Send it to you for free. All the way down in the song because it's too cold, uh, both your hands in the holes of my sweater. The only thing different right before that whoa, whoa, whoa part, and that's when the progression changes, is he plays the same progression again, F, D minor, A minor, C, but then they hit a G chord, and you let that ring, and that takes you into this part of the song where he does his extended whoa thing. That's when the progression changes, and it changes to D minor, C, and G. And the G's stay on for two measures. I'll play it for you. It sounds like this. And then from there it goes back into, because it's too cold, right? At F, D minor, A minor, and C. But if you want to hear how it sounds, if you you the main progression without bar chords and you just kind of with that four finger F chord it'll sound like this and this is what the other guitar player plays that's the whole song it's basically just those two parts Really fun one to play. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and content coming. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as you'll be notified then when we have new lessons up. And don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box below because then I'll send you my free killer lesson on essential bar chord techniques and bar chord changing techniques. That and an ebook. It will really help you along in your guitar journey. Click on that link. I'll send it to you for free. Thank you so much for joining us. So appreciate your support over the years, years, and years, right? Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution.